Good afternoon. This video deal again with Stephen Anderson, and uh, he actually claims. Let me see if I can find the. Uh, go to his page. I'm, I'll link it to the page. Gene Kim thinks Greek is garbage and Buckman is Jesus. I left a note there. There's no Texas receptors text that exactly matches the King James Bible. He wrote, "Yes, there is." The 1894 Shrivener Texas receptors from the Trinitarian Bible Society, <clears throat> which is what I said he was using. Exactly, um, matches exactly, for, except for two typos. How would you know the typos? What's the criteria for judging a typo? Now, one of the uh, receptors, here's the, uh, here's from the Trinitarian Bible Society, and uh, I got a couple other editions from the Trinitarian Bible. None of them have uh, amen. So how does he know at the end of Ephesians, amen? The Shrivener text was back translated, by the way, from the King James Bible. And uh, he made some changes in it. Uh, he goes here. So once I correct those in mind, how, what, what standard are you using to correct what you call typos in Texas Receptors? I have a perfect Greek New Testament. Based on what? So you're either correcting those typos from what the King James is. You're saying the typos. What are the typos? How do you know the typos? So, Shrivna, uh, we'll look at Shrivna, and uh, I just want to let you know here, he's claiming he has a perfect Texas Receptus edition from the Trinitarian Bible Society. It's not, it's not perfect. It doesn't exactly match the King James Bible. And he's saying, well, just for a couple of typos. How would you know the typos? You'd have to have another Texas Receptus somewhere. Somewhere. So, when we know King James Bible has typos, we have a, we have a standard to check with the King James Bible. says, oh, yeah. They missed that, you know, because there's a, there's the standard, the uh, of the of the Cambridge the Cambridge uh, pure Cambridge edition that says that's the standard. Therefore, that's clearly a typo, and we can tell by looking at the uh, different editions and say, yeah, well, that's always in the other editions. It's missing here. It's clear as a typo. So the fact is, you have to have a standard to judge a typo. Anderson has to show there's some Texas receptus from Shrimna. That has amen at the end of Ephesians 6.24. He just can't quote a typo. Unless he's correcting with the King James Bible. So then he doesn't have a perfect Texas Receptus. The King James Bible is perfect. So which is it? So I'll stop here and put this up. Amen. Thank you.